identifying lines and angles. Lines and angles are the building blocks of geometry. They are used to build other figures, for example, 2D and 3D shapes. A line is a set of points that extends forever in both directions. It does not curve or turn, and it is always straight. A ray is a part of a line with one end point fixed. It extends continuously in the other direction. Here's a ray going in one direction with an end point at the other end. A line segment is a part of a line with both end points fixed. It has a fixed length. Here's a line with end points on either side, which makes it a line segment. Let's take a look at some more lines. Parallel lines are lines that are always the same distance from each other. They never meet or cross. An example of parallel lines is railroad tracks. You can see that these tracks are the same distance apart and will never intersect. Next is intersecting lines. Intersecting lines are lines that cross. Next we have perpendicular lines. Lines that cross at a certain angle, 90 degree angle, are called perpendicular lines. They form a square angle or an L-shaped angle. An example is intersecting streets. You can see these streets intersect and form an L-shaped or 90 degree angle. Let's learn about angles. Angles are formed when two lines, rays, or line segments intersect. Angles are measured from 0 degrees to 360 degrees. You will learn to classify angles. Before that, look at some angle measurements. 0 degrees is the angle a line makes with itself. 90 degrees is a right or a square angle, which is L-shaped, that perpendicular lines make. 180 degrees is when lines are in opposite direction to each other. They make a straight line. 360 degrees is when lines are coinciding, called a full turn or complete angle. It brings us back to zero. Let's take a closer look. If I were to draw a ray going in one direction with an end point here and another ray on top of it, when the rays go in the same direction, they form a zero degree angle. When I bring the ray up to make perpendicular rays, it forms a 90 degree angle. When the rays go in opposite direction from each other, they form a 180 degree angle. And when I bring it all the way around again, it forms the 360 degree angle. Angles can be acute, right, or obtuse based on their measure. An acute angle is less than 90 degrees in measure. A right angle exactly equals 90 degrees in measure. And an obtuse angle is greater than 90 degrees in measure. To understand better, solve a problem. Look at angles A, B, and C on the figure. Identify the acute, right, and obtuse angle. Look at figure A. To help us identify, let's draw a dotted line that would represent where the 90 degree angle would be. This shows that angle A is less than 90 degrees, so it is acute. Look at angle B. Again, I'm going to draw the dotted line where the 90 degree angle would be. Angle B is greater than 90 degrees, so it is obtuse. For angle C, the dotted line goes right on top of the ray in this angle. So angle C is exactly equal to 90 degrees. Therefore, it is a right angle. Remember, angles are formed when two lines, rays, or line segments intersect. And angles can be classified based on their measures. Acute angles are less than 90 degrees, right angles equal 90 degrees, and obtuse angles are greater than 90 degrees. Thanks for watching.